The Defence Equipment Minister has pledged to do more to support small businesses. Peter Luff met with small and medium-sized suppliers at a technology showcase event in central London. On display were gadgets, including one designed for forward operating bases that could one day turn human waste into power. Willingless reports. The defence industry isn't just made up of giant multinational corporations. Some of the biggest ideas come from the smallest firms. Simply it's anaerobic digestion technology made very compact and we can take the waste that's produced in the forward operating bases or bases and generate methane gas from it and produce electricity through a combined heat and power unit. Electricity and heat. Another startup is redesigning the most basic of equipment. This has been developed because they're not realistically going to reduce the burden in the short term. What they've got to do is maximise the weight they're carrying now so they feel effective for a greater period of time. We've done a number of innovations. We've de designed this with trauma surgeons and spinal surgeons so the weight is carried to its most efficiency to make them combat effective. Not all of the innovations on show here today are about war fighting. Fraser Nash have come up with this. It's an exercise bike for people with external fixings on their legs, that metal work that you get if you've got a complex leg fracture. A version of this is already in use at Headley Court. Defence Equipment Minister Peter Luff is here to pledge support for this kind of innovation. The CD, the Defence Centre for Defence Enterprise, is a great success. It's been particularly successful in bringing innovation in from the small and medium-sized businesses of the UK. Sometimes those have nothing to do with defence whatsoever. So what I've announced there is a series of measures ready to make that process work better. A closer engagement between CDE and the small and medium-sized businesses themselves. More money to help develop some of those ideas coming from the Technology Strategy Board. And also, importantly, some new resource, some people, to actually help SMEs through the rather complex process sometimes MOD to get their ideas into reality. The new support should make it easier for innovation to make it from back room to battlefield. Will Inglis, Forces News, Westminster.